The men who fly at America's air shows are some of the best pilots in the world. Top guns who test the physics and mechanics of wing flight. But behind the scenes, the difference between triumph and tragedy is in the hands of one man. There's somebody walking right across the goddamn runway. It would not bother me if that Master Chief didn't have that son of a bitch arrested. What am I seeing, Larry? No excuses. You find those two sons of bitches with the keys, you get those aircraft moved now. When it comes to air shows, he's not just the boss. I am the air boss. Wayne Boggs is a former Marine, a retired air traffic controller, and the brother of a Boston Red Sox legend. I come from a family of competitors. You think you know air shows? Think again. A good air boss watches what's going on. I have put well over a hundred airplanes in the air at the same time. They're monitoring my frequency. I'm controlling the event. Anything can happen. If I could get my hands on that man's neck, I'd choke his ass. That guy pissed me off. I want to start rolling this thing as soon as I get to the airport from the tower at 2.30. If he doesn't fire her tomorrow night, shame on him. Tora is demanding a 3-6 takeoff. They cannot accept runway 9. The Airbus controls hundreds of aircraft in a hostile environment, yet still manages to entertain millions, but not alone. And we do have the best of the best of the best of the best, Mr. Rob Ryder. He didn't do the octagon loop. Lord knows what could happen. Most of those folks don't know if somebody misses a maneuver or not. They only know if somebody hits the ground. And that announcer can step in and save the world when everything is crumbling around an Airbus. When Rich Gibson starts setting off explosives, people sure as heck take notice. We've lost track of the amount of airplanes into the pyro field. This is a thousand feet of debt cord here. Well, Wayne Boggs knows that being an Airbus. You can't deal with the unexpected, you should look for another job. Did it go? Training for an air boss is almost like training for an air traffic controller. So Wayne was very kind to offer to mentor me. Go ahead and tell Matt to get himself in position. It's all going to be a gut feeling now. It's a gut feeling that you've got to have. They're all sort of badass. I like it. <laughs> they're at the top of their game and they're the best of the best. The air boss is screaming, climb, climb. Uh, I remember thinking, hey buddy, you want to switch spots and I'll holler at you? If he had not had a good excuse, I would have pulled his little arms off and beat him with him. There's no doubt about it. Because I'm constantly working very, very hard to make him look good. And we're the tightest flyers up there. You know, the Thunderbirds and the Blues, when you're watching the sky, you'll always typically see their wingtips separate, where when you see ours, they're actually over a line. Your mind kind of gets you ready to do uh, a mission such as the Blue Angels. Whatever he wants. Okay. He's a man that keeps me flying. Yeah, we won't just go direct to the tower today. OK. <laughs> Sorry about that. All of this changes because of the switch boats. It's all going to work. You're sure we're going like this to your pilot. I think that means you're out. People hiding in the weeds just waiting for it. Unravel. It breaks up the momentum of the show. Yeah. A rhythm going. It starts with boss and it ends with boss. It's transparent to everybody except us. It's just all part of the air show. Craziness. That was complete craziness. That L and O thing, I had. I, I was like drinking from the fire hose. You can't tell which side is what. Like head, on. head on. Exactly. Keep the game face on and stay focused. Lynn always holds her breath for 12 minutes until I get done. He may be angry at me, but I hold the hand. Now the lead, this is your last pass. You made your left out one for runway seven right. It would have been a fatal attempt. When I jumped out of the airplane and I. And I knew where she was going to crash. I couldn't look. As the performer's sole lifeline, Wayne is front and center, managing danger, chaos, and tragedy, carrying the weight of the air show on his shoulders. The moment you're not paying attention, you're turning around, BSing with somebody behind you, or cutting a pool, that's when something is going to happen out there. Those people don't want to die any more than you do. A good day is at the end of the air show, and you got no hits, no runs, no errors. 